for somebody to bless. Every day you're looking for someone to build up, someone to admonish. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 11 says, Therefore, encourage, admonish, exhort one another, and edify, strengthen, and build up one another. So we're, we're supposed to be speaking words that uplift people and bless people and encourage people each and every day, winning with people. There are so many uh, ways, there are so many keys that I found, so many ways that you can win with people. One of those ways is simply to smile, to smile. You know, just a, a, a big smile will help you to win with people. I first noticed this when we went out and did outreach for the ministry here. And I noticed that some doors we would knock on, people would come to the door and they would be very, how can I put it? They, they would be not too excited to see us. <laughs> and they would let you know that. And so, you know, I ran across a lot of grumpy people. But I, the, the person I was with, we did a little experiment. We said, when we knock on the door, when we ring the doorbell, let's try to smile real big to see the reaction of the person on the other side of the door. And when we did that, without fail, it induced a cheerful smile. They couldn't help it. You couldn't resist it. How could you resist me ringing your doorbell and I'm looking like this? Good morning. I'm happy to see <laughs> They can't. We folks, we became irresistible. Without fail, every person that came through the door, they began to smile when they saw us smiling. Smiling is, is, is one of those keys that you win with people. You automatically begin to win people over just by smiling, just by smiling. There's a, a lady in my subdivision. It's an older lady, an Indian lady. And she's a, she, she looks to be uh, the grandmother of the family, and she walks just about every day. And I had never met her, had never really interacted with her, and, and um, I noticed just driving by her as she would walk every day, one day I just decided to smile and wave at her. Now, I knew she was from another culture. I knew she was from another part of the world, and different race, and different, you know, ethnicity, different language. And so I knew there were a lot of barriers, different age, you know, a lot of barriers between them. And so this, this, she was so stoic, and um, she actually looked a little spooky. Because she, <laughs> she had on a long, you know, long, she wears a long flowing dress. And um, I think I had seen a scary movie with an old Indian lady there, and I think that's what was, that was, what, that's what was on my mind. So she had, <laughs> so she looked like this lady in this scary movie I had seen. And so I decided to begin to wave and smile every time I drove by. And for weeks and for months, she would just look at me without any response. And finally, one day I went by, and you know what? She greeted me with a wave and a smile, and she's been doing it ever since. And now she can't wait to see my car coming down. Sometimes she just gets out of the middle of the road. <laughs> Folks, that's what we, we're, to, we're to bring a little sunshine. We're the light of the world. We're to brighten people's day, to brighten people's life, to encourage one another, to build them up. Even though she's a different race from a different part of the world, different culture, folks, I'm telling you, love still speaks any language. God's love speaks. His light shines on any, it breaks any barrier. She understood that there was something about me. She understood that she was feeling the light of God coming from my life. And so that's what, that's what we're to do to, to win with people. That's one key. It's just to smile. Make it, make it a, some people look like you, you know, some people go out and they look like they just sucked a lemon. No, but, but make, a, make, a, make an effort. Make an effort to smile. Make an effort to smile. Make an effort to show it on your countenance. Smile. We, that's, in fact, that's one of the uh, descriptive things about God that he would smile on us with his countenance. 
And so smiling is one of the ways that you, you, win, with, you win with people. So we're going we, we're gonna to be talking about uh, just some different ways to win with people, some different keys, some powerful things that I, that I see lived out in Jesus' life. Now, Jesus, Jesus was a powerful uh, person. Jesus was a people person. He was a people person. And he, there was something that Jesus knew and understood. He knew and understood about human relationships, about being a blessing and letting God's light shine and no matter who he encountered. But Jesus was a powerful encourager. He was a motivator. He inspired and instilled confidence. He blessed people. And he just never, he never turned anybody away. Here's another key um, is to, to take time for people, to take time. Notice Jesus always took time for people. And that meant a lot. That meant a lot. He was, he was, the disciples had him going somewhere. He was going somewhere. Somebody else came and asked him if he could go to their house. He immediately turned going to their house. While he was going to their house, somebody else came and pulled on the hem of his robe. He stopped and let heal and go. Notice Jesus always took time. In fact, the disciples got mad because some kids were trying to get to Jesus. Mothers were bringing their kids. And notice what Jesus, Jesus said, no, bring them here. He always took time for people. Notice what he did. Notice how he encouraged the children. He took the kids in his arms and he said, he said, notice what, notice what he did to the psyche of those kids to let them know how important they were and how valuable they were. He said, Unless you all become like these little children. Unless you become like a little child. Notice, notice the value he inspired in them. The greatness he began to speak over their lives. Suffer the little children to come because of this is the kingdom of... He held those little kids up. He said, hey, this is the kingdom of God. This is the kingdom of heaven. The very ones you all didn't want me to spend time. This is God's kingdom. And unless you become, unless you study this child and begin to act with his humility and with his joy and with his forgiveness and with his love and with his faith and with his trust, unless you adapt yourself and become as one of these, you're, you're not going to amount to very... Notice how he built them up. He took time to build. No, can you picture those little kids just smiling as, as they were being hailed by Jesus? He was instilling something in them. He was instilling. So Jesus was, he was a people person. He won with people because he always took time. He always took time for people. He always took time. Make people feel important. Always make people feel important. Always make people feel important. I read a quote by, uh, by somebody. It was good. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> it was good. I, 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 it says this, a gossip is one who talks to you about other people. A bore is one who talks to you about himself. And a brilliant conversationalist is one who talks to you about yourself. See, when you make people feel important, when you make people feel important, when you talk to someone about themselves, the Bible talks about that. We'll go in the scriptures, Philippians 2, chapter 2, verse 4, talks about that. Being interested in what other people are interested in, not having your interest in only yourself, but, but putting your interest off yourself and being interested into the interests of others. And so when you can make, that's one of the keys into making people feel important when you give them your time people like the triple a treatment and that's affirmation that's appreciation and one other that i can't think of <laughs> i'll give it to you next time but it's a powerful key it's a powerful key i want you to go to airjesus.com you can listen to this message message number 7472 winning with people absolutely free of charge. You can also email it to a friend, absolutely free of charge. Thank you so much for joining us today at Brothers of the Word because, brother, you need the Word.
the word, when the voice of God is heard, brothers of the word, there's a word from God for everyone. Brothers of the word, because brother, you need the word.